Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Today, I will show you how to update a C Sharp application using Advanced Installer. For this tutorial, you need the Advanced Installer extension for Visual Studio. We'll use it to create and manage the MSI package for our application. The extension is available on Visual Studio Marketplace and to install it, just follow the next steps. In Visual Studio, go to Extensions, Manage Extensions, and then search for Advanced Installer for Visual Studio. This is the extension you need, so press the download button and be aware that you need to close the Visual Studio and then reopen it in order the extension to be installed. Once the extension is installed, we can go to the next steps. As you can see, we've already created a simple Windows Forms application. We added some controls to the form, so let's consider this the version 1.0.0. Now, let's add the setup project. Right-click on the solution, then add new project. From the templates list, Select Advanced Installer Project, set a name for the setup project, and press the Create button. You should see the setup project in the Solution Explorer now. Open the AIP file so you can manage some features directly from Visual Studio. For example, you can edit the product details or add launch conditions. Also, you can add the project output. Just go to Files and Folders. Click on the Add Project Output button and select the project. Now, we have to add the Auto Update functionality to our setup project. For this, we will use the Advanced Updater. It is an executable tool whose roles are to check for updates, download and install them. To enable update capability, first you have to open the setup project in Advanced Installer. Then. Go to the updater view and be aware that the updater is available only for professional projects or higher. So, upgrade the project. Reload the file in Visual Studio as it has been modified and go again to the updater view. Check this option in order to enable update capability. Once the option is selected, the updater executable file is added to your application directory. Let's go back to the updater now as there are two additional steps that we have to make. First, we have to provide the URL for the update configuration file. You can use Dropbox to store the updates if you do not have a web host. For now, you just need to reserve the location for the file. So let's create a TXT file called update and upload it to Dropbox. Later you will replace it with the configuration file of the update. Copy the link, go to Advanced Installer and paste it here. Now, let's go to the second step. We have to choose the way to check for updates and here are the options. Manual, for this option the user himself will have to check if new updates are available and automatic through a scheduled task. We will choose the second one. This option is available starting with the Enterprise Edition. So first upgrade the project, reload the file in Visual Studio and go back to Advanced Installer to check the option again. This time, a new dialog is opened, where you can configure the task properties according to your needs. We'll configure the task to check for updates at every 5 minutes. Let's add a desktop shortcut for our application and then build the project. Now, run the MSI to install the application. As you can see, the version 1.0.0 is installed. 
Let's make some changes to the application. Consider this the version 2.0.0. To provide the update, we have to do the next steps. Change the product version from 1.0.0 to 2.0.0. Build the project. and open the advanced installer to create the update. Select updates, updates configuration, and then create new project. Create new update, select the MSI of the version 2.0.0 and upload the MSI to Dropbox. Copy the link. Open the update and paste the link here. Build the project and upload the configuration file to Dropbox. Let's wait for the application to check for updates now. The update has been found, so let's install it. Open the application, so you can see the application has been successfully updated. For more guides and tutorials, you can check the Advanced Installer YouTube channel or the Advanced Installer blog.